वेलकम टू किली लेजेंड्स यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन बेस्ट ऑफ राइस आई थिंक इज एंटमोलॉजी पार्ट वी विल वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दिस पार्ट सो बेसिकली इन राइस नाउ दिस इज अ मेजर स्टेपल फूड ऑफ इंडिया एज वेल एज ऑल्सो साउथ इंडिया ऑल्सो वी आर कवरिंग and in case this uh, this rice pest it is causing nearly about 10 to even 90% of the yield loss is caused in uh, rice so the more concentration of rice is most important so first we will discuss on uh, the rice pests then uh, we can dis- uh, we can differentiate into mainly nursery pest vegetative pest and uh, reproductive pest and in you know, a storage pest okay now we will see on uh, nursery pest nursery pest mainly of uh, four pest uh, they they are coming so it is more very important pest especially mainly thrips green leaf hopper uh, paddy stem borer and uh, swarming caterpillar here in case of thrips uh, normally uh, nursery is grown in a very small area but even the concentrating we are we are concentrating on the nursery stage because these uh, thrips it causes the uh, the marginal rolling of uh, the leaves and the streaks the silvery streaks is present in the uh, leaves so this is the main diagnostic sim- uh, uh, di- in case of thrips the this rice thrips mainly it occurs in the nursery stage and uh, for example if you if you take a uh, rice leaf uh, the silvery streaks i mean uh, the sil- like uh, silvery streaks will be present in the uh the rice leaf and also the the margin from the tip of the leaf the rice leaf started to drying very fastly so in this area you can able to see the drying symptoms in the in this region so this is the main characteristic symptom that is a silver streaks and a marginal drying and the rolling of the leaves is a major symptom which is caused by the uh, rice thrips next is our uh, uh, green leaf hopper it is also present in the uh, main field and also in the nursery stage but especially in case of nursery it is causing a very damage what happens the it, it causes the uh, the drying of the developing seedlings for example if you are so if you if we are sowing the seeds uh, in the uh, in in the nursery uh, it immediately causes the drying of the uh, leaves but it does not cause any da- diagnostic symptom in the green leaf hopper and also it is the carriage for the various vectors such as uh, green uh, rice tumor virus and uh, transisting uh, dwarf virus dwarf yellow, uh, yellow virus so the, 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 these viruses are been transmitted by uh, this uh, green leaf hopper next is our paddy stem borer in case of paddy stem borer uh, it is also present in the uh, main field and also in the nursery field but in case of nursery the growing um, for example um, uh, mainly in case of stem borer the in nursery condition uh, for example if you are uh, if you are raising uh, crop is there uh, rice rice crop is grown uh, here the growing tip for example this portion uh, it has been drying dried off and immediately the further growth of the uh, this uh, paddy i mean uh, this uh, paddy is being generally stopped so this is the main characteristic symptom and also uh, the major threat to the nursery condition here the swarming caterpillar it generally uh, it is also present in the uh, main field and also in the nursery field Uh, you know, uh, the main symptom is it, it generally looks like a cattle grazed up symptom so this is the one of the uh, one of the important uh, uh, sim, uh, symptom which is caused by the spodarthra mauritia that is a cattle grazed up like structure it will be caused by the uh, swarming caterpillar because it generally uh, eats all the uh, the the tips i mean uh, uh the this portion will be to be generally eaten and it will be uh, again uh, from one field to other field it, it, it swarms so this is so that's why it is called as swarming caterpillar next one uh, after the transplanting for example the transplanted rice uh, mainly it, uh, it is attacked by various pests uh, initially we will see on galmish leaf roller uh, rice horned caterpillar and uh, rice hispa and in case of uh, uh, garmish it is one of the way major pest and it is co- and uh, it generally uh, the diagnostic symptom is uh, onion shoots 
onion shoots are generally caused by the gar rice garnish for example if a uh, rice uh, uh, i mean like rice leaf sheet if you take it means uh, it will be uh, rice leaf sheet if you have taken it will be like this uh, for example uh, like this. but in after the effect of the this rice garnish it generally turns into onion shoot it will be like a tubular in structure and very tender in nature very uh, it will be like a onion like how onion leaves how it looks the same like that uh, this uh, due to this uh, garnish it will be caused so mainly why this is caused means this is due to the accumulation of chemicals such as cesidogen cesidogen at uh, this after the garnish entering into the plant rice plant it immediately start feeding during that feeding condition it starts start secreting the uh, cesidogen which is responsible for the onion shoot formation so next is uh, so this is the characteristic symptom next is our uh, leaf roller a leaf roller generally caused by cephnocrosis medinalis um th this uh, uh, this pest after uh, attacking uh, the it uh, for example if you take a leaf rice leaf uh, it, it generally uh, webs uh, web the leaf and again it, it scraps the chlorophyll uh, it, uh, it uh, craps the chlorophyll content inside and remain inside the web so this is the characteristic symptom uh, in case of rice leaf uh, roller and rice horn caterpillar it is a uh, one of the butterfly pest of rice leaf roller so very important so only one butterfly pest Occurring in the rice is this is only this is the rice horned caterpillar or it is also called as new evening brown Melantis ismen. So next is rice hispa. So this is a uh, beetle pest. So beetle chrysomelidae. It generally causes by the chrysomelidae coleopteran. So this here also the characteristic symptom exhibits the uh, white uh, longitudinal streaks will be present. So this is one of the very important characteristic features that is a longitudinal lines uh, similar to that of the uh, uh, leaf roller. But one thing you have to remain is that these uh, the this hispa won't able to it can't able to web or it does not cause any webbing symptoms. But in rice relief roller, it just rolls and it keeps us webbing. So this is the characteristic features. So we have seen a nursery pest, vegetative pest, and now we are going to see on reproductive. Uh, already sold on reproductive stage pest. Here in reproductive stage, mainly what is the reproductive stage? The tillers start forming, and the flowers, the panicle initiation takes place. The flowering stage takes place next to the um, the milking milking stage in rice takes place next uh, the rice is ready for harvest up to this harvesting and storage we we have various n number of pests occurring in the rice for example it, now we are going to see on rice temporal we before itself we have seen the uh, the pest uh, occurring in the nursery stage. Now again, it is uh, the, in, it is also present in the reproductive stage also. Uh, so, uh, it is a sympophagus insectual insect uh, uh, The mainly it is it causes the white ear damage. Uh, the during the panicle uh, stage, I mean the during the panicle initiation, the uh, the emerging panicle, the rising panicle, it generally it looks like a white ears without the chaffy grains. The only the uh, chaffy grains only will be filled. You no know, nil nil quantity of the grains are found. So this is the characteristic symptom. But in case of dead heart, you you have to diagnose both the damage. He this the dead heart is uh, in case of it is caused in the vegetative stage. But in this one it is caused in the uh, reproductive stage, especially in the panical initiation. Next one is rice case home. In case of rice case home, it mainly do occurs in the uh, fl flowering stage and before flowering also it may occur. Uh, what happens uh, mainly it causes the, it, in name itself it indicates that it causes the case like structure. For example, if you take a leaf, it, what it happens, it, it, it uh, scrapes this portion or any other portion, this portion and it forms the um, like a case like structure like case like uh, structure is formed and it remains inside the 
uh, the, inside the leaf and immediately after the uh, if even it fell down in, in inside the water it uh, it remains very light because it has some specialized structure uh, gills will be present uh, only in case of this uh, rice case worm uh, so this is also in one of the major pests but it occurs only in the patchy area of, of uh, country so not it is a not it is a uh, we cannot tell it is a major pest but it occurs as a uh, regularly i mean uh, very occasionally like uh, like patchy areas only it will occur next is a rice ear red bug leptocorisa acuta uh, so this is a one of this is also a one of the major pests and also it is mainly uh, occur only during the milky stage milky stage of the crop uh during the milky stage what it happens this pest it generally sit in through the panicle uh, the milky panicle and it start feeding inside the uh, the milky the 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 content of the rice grains i mean the filled grains it immediately uh, uh, it immediately feeds and also it causes the feeding punctures like, uh, like for example if you take a rice grain uh, immediately this area like a brownish pot like structure will be present so this is one of the characteristic symptom and this pest uh, if occurs means i uh, like a stingy smell very a uh, bad odor uh, it will be generally caused in the case of rice ear head bug next is our uh, mealy bug uh, this is only mainly oh, immediately if, uh, if, if this rice mealy bug comes into your mind you should know this only present in the dry tracts of uh, tamil nadu this only present in the dry tracts like uh, ramanathapuram like uh, the parts of uh, tutukudi area only these pest uh, the, this pest is present and also in frequent drought conditions uh, combined with the drought this pest is causing a very uh, various problem and also it causes a disease such as surai disease this is one of the uh, one of the major important uh, term surai disease it uh, it generally uh, why means it it, it does not uh, cause any uh, the, uh, the emerging panicle to come out the plant just remains as such it is present like that so the so this is one of the major uh, problem in case of drought condition and also in the dry tracts of tamil nadu so next is our world maggot so this is also a very occasional uh, not a very occasional it just occurs as a uh, somewhere not uh, uh, that much problem uh, this is caused by this uh, pest uh, this is called as a hydrilla sasaki so in the, in the rice leaf uh, it just causes a leaf blotching like blotching like uh, appearance will be caused in the terminal portion of the leaf like this area so this area these area will be caused so this mainly caused due to the uh, hydrilla sasaki so up to this we have seen now uh, in case of um, uh, vegetative stage this brown plant hopper it is very one of the notorious pest it is caused in the main plant so we have to take more importance on the bph so normally we will call it as a bph nilar parvatta lugens it is a one of the delphacid hemiptera that means it belongs to the family delphacidae and order hemiptera okay so now uh, this brown plant hopper it is generally cause a burnt appearance burnt up appearance in the affected fields in if you enter into the affected fields of uh, this bph it, uh, for example if you take a field Uh, it uh, this like a circular patch so if you take this one uh, from this from this verse, from this side it uh, generally extends to uh, like a circular why means the the character i mean uh, this uh, behavior of the bph is like this so it generally so that's why it spreads like a circular manner for example if you take bph is present this side it uh, uh, circulates like a circle like structure so that's why immediately after feeding it generally causes like a Uh, circular patchy appearance will be caused in the uh, affected fields next is our gnh uh, in case of, and also you have to know one more thing on uh, this uh, b- brown plant hopper and one more thing you have to know that it it is also a vector for uh, grassy stunt virus and ragged stunt virus why means it is a, the the affected virus like it will be like a grassy like, like a grassy like appearance and also ragged ragged means a stunted growth or like that so this is a two virus mainly caused by the uh, gra- this is spreaded by the bph and also this is one of the phloem feeder you know xylem phloem 
so this is a phloem uh, this, uh, this is mainly due to flo uh, this mainly feeds on the phloem phloem vessels so that's why it it causes like a burnt like appearance here in case of glh uh, we have already seen in the nursery conditions now uh, what the main uh, what it causes in the main field means it is a what it is one of the major pest major pest and this tra transferring nearly uh, five uh, viral disease like uh, dwarf virus um, transistent virus yellowing virus yellow dwarf virus and uh, this is one of the major important virus that is a rice tumor virus or tb so this is one of the, the uh, this is the main character uh, for the uh, glh in case of main field conditions and also this is also causes the uh, the drying up of the plant and it causes the drying drying of leaves um, uh, same the sucking pest what it happens the same symptoms it is being exhibited by the glh next is our uh, storage pest in case of storage pest we will come across uh, two or three pests mainly of three pests that is rice weevil angmoise grain moth rice moth mainly this uh, rice we uh, this rice moth it is uh, 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 sorry uh, angmoise grain moth it is a carryover pest that means it is mainly it is present in the main field also and also it is present in the storage so this is one of the main characteristic feature of the angmoise uh, grain moth and also in case of rice weevil it is a, it is called as a primary feeder this is also a primary feeder but this is a secondary feeder secondary feeder means it it is only present during the uh, the processed rice i mean uh, the milled uh, the milled rice only it will be present uh, this rice moth so rice weevil is caused by the uh, stubbornness or i say angmoise grain moth this is citrotrichus cereella so the main characteristic feature of the uh, angmoise grain moth is for example if you take a rice grain uh, this is a if you take a rice grain a short hole will be present in the uh, rice uh, grain so this is one of the main characteristic uh, symptoms exhibited by the angmoise grain moth uh, cito cito citotroga cereella next is rice moth uh, carcera sapronica the main characteristic feature is a webbing so in rice if webbing is present we can immediately say is as uh, the rice grains are webbed together the rice grains will be formed like a clump clump like structure will be formed so this is one of the main uh, diagnostic feature and characteristic features caused by the rice moth so now up to this we have covered at the uh, the major i mean uh, first we have to differentiate into four types first one we have to see that uh, nursery pest nursery pest we have come across uh, thrips uh, swarming caterpillar uh, rice stem borer uh, these things we have seen in case of uh, uh, reap, uh, vegetative stage we have come across all the sucking pest we have to consider dph uh, green leaf hopper and very uh, various things we have seen next one is a reproductive stage we have seen the rice stem borer uh, like uh, Uh, these uh, even bbh glh we have seen and in, in case of storage pest we have seen rice weevil angmoise grain moth rice moth so these are all the major pest occurring in the rice uh, causing a various extra various damage